Many of us would agree that our homes are filled with items that run on electricity, yet a small number of people would know what to do in the event of an electrical emergency. Every year, thousands of people in the U.S. are injured as a result of an electrical fire or accident. While electricity is often taken for granted, your safety around electricity should never be taken for granted. To ensure a safe environment for you and your loved ones, here are a few electrical safety tips to keep in mind. First, take a walk around your home and inspect your electrical cords. Any cord that has a broken or cracked external covering or is exposing wire has the potential to cause shock or fire and will need to be replaced. When inspecting outlets and extension cords, think simplicity. Never overload an outlet or extension cord. Overloading can cause outlets and wires to overheat and start a fire. I'd also like to mention that most extension cords are meant for temporary use of 30 days or less. They are not meant for permanent use. It's also important that you be mindful of location. If possible, try to keep extension cords and wires from being placed under rugs or near curtains. Also, check to make sure that cords are not being pinched or damaged by windows, doors, or furniture. It's also highly recommended that you keep all items using electricity away from water. Lastly, look for warning signs. Common warning signs of unsafe wiring conditions include blowing fuses, tripping circuit breakers, and buzzing or crackling noises. You should also be suspicious of any switches that become warm or cause a tingling sensation upon being touched. If you see any of these warning signs, then be sure to contact a licensed electrician to fix the problem right away. Reporting from Safety Zone, I'm Crystal De La Rosa, your Transit TV EMT.